chat que tengo abierto en Facebook, mediante la página en donde están viendo el streaming video, hay un icono de Facebook para pertenecer al grupo de esta, de esta plática. Si pueden darle un clic en ese icono, entrar al grupo de Facebook de esta plática y ahí conectarse al chat. Hello everybody, before I start with the uh, um, roster, I'm going to give you again the uh, task to get to the chat for those who are following us through the streaming video. On the window that you have, uh, on the website where you have the streaming video window, there is a Facebook icon. If you click on that icon, you will be able to get into to join the group in Facebook for these content. That's the way of getting the chat into the chat. And I'm going to be all the time going to do through the chat in case you want to interact with our presenters. But you're going to have the uh, capacity, the age free to free video conference capacity. So in a few minutes, a couple of minutes, we're going to be calling uh, the roster. Good morning, everybody. This is uh, the welcome, the official welcome to the video conference of the virtual day of engineering, the community of engineering education in the University Corporation for the uh, uh, Advancement of the Journey of Mexico. Buenos días a todos. Esta es la bienvenida oficial para el día virtual de la comunidad de ingeniería en la Corporación Universitaria para el Desarrollo de Internet. Uh, today we're going to have a very interesting topic is regarding the engineering education at the K-12 level. And we're going to have uh, three uh, speakers, very, very knowledgeable speakers. Uh, it's the uh, division between the division in the U.S. and Mexico. We're going to have the participation of Dr. Johannes Strobel from Purdue University. We're going to have the participation of Dr. Adam Carberry at Arizona State University. And we're going to have the participation of Dr. Alfredo Santillan from National University of Mexico, UNAM. The three are going to talk pretty much about the uh, approach that we have in the U.S. and Mexico in the, the education of uh, engineering at the K-12 levels. ¿Qué tal? Buenos días. Hoy va a ser un día muy, muy especial para nuestra comunidad. Vamos a tener nuestro día virtual de la enseñanza de ingeniería a nivel de esta 12 o preuniversitarios. Vamos a tener la presentación de tres, eh, de tres personas muy, muy notables. 
Está el doctor Johannes Schobel de la Universidad de Purdue, está el doctor Adam Carberry de la Universidad de Arizona y está el doctor Alfredo Santillán de la UNAM. Los tres nos van a presentar eh, sus tópicos muy interesantes de eh, la misión, la visión de la enseñanza de ingeniería a nivel de estado 12. Y bueno, voy a pasar a lista, voy a pasar lista. I'm going to start recording the roster. It's uh, Purdue. It's uh, Universidad de Tabasco, están por ahí. Muy bien. La Ibero, Universidad Iberoamericana. El CENAM. Estoy viendo uh, el Instituto Tecnológico de Colcán en Yucatán. ¿Hay alguien por ahí? Buenos días, este, el ingeniero de Salazar. Buenos días, ingeniero, qué gusto tenerlo. Le voy a pedir, por favor, si cierra su micrófono para seguir haciendo el paso de lista. Muy amable. El micrófono ya está. Gracias. La UDG, la Universidad de Guadalajara, están con nosotros. El CSI. Veo ahí hay alguien del CSI. Alguien del ITSP. Bueno, veo algunas pantallas por ahí, no sé si ya haya llegado la gente que va a participar. Pero bueno, vamos a empezar para no retrasarnos mucho. Supongo que nuestros participantes estarán um, uniéndose a nuestra plática mientras progresamos. Okay, um, we're going to start in order to get uh, our timing right with Dr. Jo Dr. Johannes Strobel. Dr. Johannes Strobel is the uh, director of the Institute of Mutual Health, Engineering Research and, and Engineering in Purdue University. Eh, vamos a empezar con el Dr. Johannes Strobel, su presentación. Él es el director del Instituto para la Investigación y la Educación en, uh, eh, en la Ingeniería. Universidad de Purdue. Le doy la palabra al doctor, su presentación está en la página, por si la quieren ir siguiendo, y yo estoy en el chat. Doctor Johannes Strobel, you have the uh, stage. Thank you very much. First of all, thank you very much for the invitation. It's a real honor and a pleasure to talk with you and present work that we are doing here. Um, I'm talking about K-12 engineering education from an inspired perspective, but also from situating it in a context of a more broader U.S. national context of the role of engineering education um, in the education of our young people. Um, so as discussion points, I will be talking a little bit about what is inspire the context. I will conceptualize P-12 engineering examples of research engagement and resources. So inspire is a center um, that's existing now since 2006. Um, we conduct basic and applied research focusing on four main areas, teacher professional development, assessment, student learning, informal learning. Um, we are working with teachers, school and school districts. We impacted so far around 600 teachers and 17,000 students. Um, I want to mention here a lot of colleges of engineering in the United States have outreach programs, engagement offices that work with schools. Um, this, our center is different in that regard that we were founded to provide a research and evaluation basis for the work that other people are doing in providing the background and foundation of um, future work in this area. So our vision is to create an engineering literate society through preeminence in education, research, and scholarship, and we are trying to inspire diverse students to pursue engineering and science. Um, this is just a picture taken from us. We are currently 55 members in INSPIRE. Um, this includes undergraduate researchers in an undergraduate research academy. We are working with postdocs, graduate students, um, faculty from three different colleges in the university. Um, if you look at the literature on 
where is business going currently? So either cradle to cradle, um, critique on capitalism, gathering storm, the world is flat. Literature that you find in business that tells us that business as usual will not get us there. If you look at similar literature written um, not just in the United States, but also, for example, in the UK, it seems also like education as usual is, will not get us where we need to be. And this is the intersection or the space where we start with that adventure into K-12. So a little bit about context. We have three massive developments in the last couple of years here and still in the years to come. So the, for the first part, you'll see on the right side, you see a map of states in the United States that already um, are signing up for the core competencies. For the first time, we will have competencies that are defined and taking on and legitimized by a majority of the states in the United States. This changes business of education dramatically because now if you are a textbook provider, curriculum writer, any form, you can write one and 47 states will actually, um, it will fit with 47 with 47 states um, standards. At the same time, in 2011, November, we have passed a framework for new science education standards. So these is, this is just a framework. We don't have the standards yet. They're currently written. But for the first time, we have explicitly engineering in the context of these science standards. So the